So this is a response video to some people thinking I'm a fraud. I'm not sure what you think is fraud-like. This is one of the most efficient modified Slayer Exciter circuits out there. Like, can you see how effective that is? Like, the range is incredible. This is lit wirelessly. In what way is it a fraud? It's a modified Slayer circuit driving a real Tesla transmitter. There's no breakout arcs, which would be losses. A Tesla coil is not supposed to create wasteful electrical discharges. I explained that in earlier videos. These all light up wirelessly. And the thing my device can do that others can't is it can create lighting by sending its power through the ground. This light is lit between my desk and my heater ground. Can you see that? This is the breakthrough. What's a scam? Grow a brain. This is real scientific breakthrough. There's energy being pumped through the ground in my device and it can be recaptured and harvested. This is lit up here too. And this only goes between the metal of my closet. See when I touch it, it gets dim and my bureau. So, uh, and I literally in my earlier videos had my entire room lit up with these lights from a couple watts of power, blindingly bright. But it was chaotic and got messy everywhere with all the lights. So I'm not sure who's saying I'm scamming, but I'm selling a product that no other product on the market can do. We can follow the wires. Notice how notice how that's acting tweak kind of tweaking out because I'm holding the device. See how it's kind of tweaking out and acting a little weird that light? Because I'm holding the device. And notice how those light too. This is an antenna for these lights up here. I can take this off and we can see it. These are wireless lights. So who's scamming? I have a real business. And I'm selling a device no other device in the world can do. So get your facts straight. No one's scamming anything. And I have multiple business partners and friends who help me with this company. I can crank my circuit, my drive circuitry up to high powers and do very impressive things. And everything is illuminated now. And for the people asking how this is constructed, it's in the description of the video and in my earlier videos. The circuit is very efficient, seeing 16 watts, running at 20 volts, creating wireless power. And this is the special output. And I'll disconnect and run it off the battery. Nine volt battery, you can look right at it. Here's the transmitter. In fact, I want you to see inside it clearly. You can see down into the bottom. This is what people when people buy the kit, they get a transmitter similar to this without the 
antenna circuitry. That's extra I added. You get the transmitter and five LED lights. Five of these little receiver lights. So I'll hook the battery up to it. You can see there's nothing strange about it. As you can see, I hook it up. It will come on. Okay, it's running off the battery. I'll point this light away. It's not blinding me. We have wireless power. They're very impressive amounts. So, not sure who you think is scamming. Let's see if I can pick this up and walk away with it. Okay, it's still functioning. The ground lights have turned off because they're not properly grounded. So, this is undeniable proof there's no scamming. Should I move it somewhere else? Now here's my ground connection. I've just get another lead. I don't know why that's missing another lead. I had the lead here for it. Okay, can see where that's going to. I connect this to ground. And then this light comes on. From a 9 volt battery. And depending on how you work different grounds, you can create unlimited lighting. See? Connected to the ground. This was another discovery. It lights in the water. See these interesting effects? Should we look in the tube? Oh look, there's nothing in it. So if you people don't understand what's going on or you don't know proper radio propagation theory because you don't want to read a book, feel free to live in ignorance. This device acts as a piston creating shock waves pumping a pond cause and effect tend to get detached from each other. <clears throat> Here's a closer look at the light bulb. And when I run the light bulb, this lights up too. Because I'm grounding the device better. See how all the wireless lights get brighter too? And this is probably dimly lit. That's dimly lit because it's not properly grounded. Anyway, this video is starting to go on too long. This is just to shut the idiots up who are calling me a scam. You you pay me 150 bucks plus shipping. You get a device that's extremely power efficient that not any other device in the world or on the market can do, to my knowledge. So if you think that's a scam, feel free to think that. I don't care. And we'll try a different light bulb. We'll try this one. 
Oh, look, that one lights up, too. Blindingly bright. And yes, these were LEDs. And it can even dimly light an incandescent from this part of the circuitry. Oh, look at that. And that's brighter too. That's the special antenna circuitry. This is a brand new pack of light bulbs I just pulled one of these from. Brand new. I think these are little mini 10 waters. So I can do that and still create wireless power. And that's about all I wanted to show. I'll disconnect it. Goes out. Here's the device again. I believe this extra coil up here is what's doing all the work. We have an L1 coil, L2, L3. So, you think I'm scamming? Sorry, you guys don't have a brain. I spent three years of my life researching all this stuff to build this. And yeah, good day, and if you want to purchase it, a kit, feel free to. The kit includes this device, it wouldn't have the antenna attached, so you wouldn't be able to run the light bulb unless you built that part of the circuit, but you would get the transmitter, you get the power supply to run it, and you get five of these little receiver lights. And the power supply to run it is one of these little adjustable ones, 0 to 24 volts adjustable with a knob. And yeah, that's it, good day.